I think I'm just gonna flip it on the. Oh! You want to no. see flip? No. I'll show you flip. It's me, and I'm hungry. Today we're gonna be trying out some food hacks that I'm a little bit skeptical about to see if they work so you don't have to. So I took a squeeze bottle, put some pancake batter in there, and made a bunch of mini pancakes. Oh, it's that simple. Pancake cereal. I don't know how I feel about syrup instead of milk. This looks delicious. So I cannot find a squeeze bottle, so we're gonna use piping, and hopefully this works. I'm gonna turn on my stove, spray this bad boy, and take my pancake pudding. It's just pancake powder. And we're just gonna spoon it in. Nobody got time for this? We're gonna pour that bad boy in. Easy peasy. Okay, and now we have a squeezy tube. I'm, oh no, I wanted to make them perfect. It's gonna be so much easier in a squeeze bottle. Okay, we're probably gonna wanna do this on really low heat because these are gonna cook super fast. Ow! Make sure you don't touch the pan. These pancakes are more privileged than others. You wanna no. see flip? No. I'll show you flip. They don't flip. Okay, we gotta turn up the heat a little bit because these ain't even cooking. Okay, I think they're ready to go. We're gonna flip a Rooney. I wanna do it how they did it. I just wanna. Oh, okay, okay. No, please don't stick together. We're gonna have to do this individually. No, they're sticking together! Quick, everyone, do a flip. Now, this is the real reason that I have long nails. Quite the unfair advantage in the kitchen. Now, y'all wanna see this flip? Woo! Ah! How about no? Now. Bam, more butter. Mm, 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 mm. It's so cute. I can make the littlest stack of pancakes right now or I could eat it just straight up like this. Mm. It's more delicious because it's tiny. Mm. I want to make the tiniest stack. The leaning tower of pancake. Quick, put the butter on. <gasps> Ready for this? <gasps> oh no, I was going to put the whole thing in my mouth. So I've been seeing this all over TikTok, where they take cookies, preferably Oreos, mix it on up, put a little bit of milk, crush it up, put it in the microwave for a minute, and then you got Oreo cake. What? Is it really that simple? So I watched a video the other day, and she made this beautifully moist, decadent chocolate cake in the microwave with cookies and milk. And I'm like, how do you do that? Is it actually good? Does it taste like a cake or a soggy cookie? This will work with any cookie. Instead of Oreos, I'm using the gluten-free alternative. They're basically Oreos, but from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna take my Oreos and just break them up into little pieces. I have three of them, because we on a diet. Now we're gonna stab them with a fork. Stab them like they hurt your self-esteem. And then just a splash of milk. Mix it up some more. Make sure those cookies are really moist. I can't believe this is gonna turn into a cake. This is gonna be mushy warm Oreos with milk. I do not know. 30 seconds, minute, I'm not sure. We're gonna do 30. We're gonna start off with 30. The fork do be tasting good though. Maybe 30 seconds is enough. Oh man, I actually turned kind of cakey. Oh wow, look at that. You can't tell me that's not like a cake consistency. Kaz is not for you. Absolute poison. I don't care how handsome you look, you are not eating chocolate. It smells like a whole entire chocolate cake in here. Uh, hot, or hot, or hot, or hot. Ah! Mm. It does taste like a cake. That's crazy. I can't believe this. This was some ice cream. That would be bomb. But it tastes like an Oreo cake. Who knew cookies could turn into cake when they grow up? This was good. Okay, so they took those Weathers candy, put some melted butter, popcorn kernels, and you're telling me, wham, bam, yes, ma'am, we got caramel corn just like that, ma'am. No way. No, nah, -uh, nah. You did not make that. I don't believe it. Not for one second that you made that like that. You see, I'm gonna prove you wrong. They, they went to the store. That's that fancy popcorn that comes in a tin that you get during Christmas time. They just popped it in the microwave, put some extra caramel sauce on it, and they're like, I made this. No, you didn't. If Five Minute Crafts made this caramel corn, I made bottled water. I am really excited to try this out. So I couldn't find those like, those old man's candies, the Weathers original. So we're just gonna use regular caramel sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the thing. You know, we need this pan to be real hot. Isn't this gonna like stick to the pan? I don't get it. Ooh. Oh, you see that? You see how perfect that caramel sauce is? 
She nice. She thick too. Drizzle a fine layer of this stuff. Okay, that's that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Go back into your jar. Ooh. Oh, she's sizzling. We just pop the popcorn in there. Colonel, do your thing. Now cover your shame. They gonna be popping in peace under there. Fight's about to start in this bowl igloo. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Why is the corn not popping? Another way you could probably do it. Just take a bar of chocolate. Oh man, I should've probably. I should've put it in with it. That's what I do with a chocolate bar. We eat it while we wait. Okay, I'm slightly concerned because I haven't heard a pop yet. They can't pop under these conditions. <gasps> is that a pop? That was a pop. I think it's just very, very low. Something hit that bowl. I heard a clank. Could all be done for all we know. Okay, it smell burning. We're gonna have to retreat from our mission soon. Okay, something has popped in here. Several of the corns have popped. So we're gonna take it over here. They'll see it's, it's smoking. Okay, you guys ready for this? I think I'm just gonna flip it on the... Look at this abomination. Y'all really told me I could make my own caramel corn. Really? Are you kidding me? I don't trust this bowl hack. I think that bowl is done for. Oh, it don't even taste like caramel. That did not work. And I'm out a bowl. You see that power of non-stick? Popcorn round two. That was not the caramel corn I know and love. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually do this with my dark chocolate Toblerone. It's better than milk chocolate. Why is Toblerone built like that? Why is it so strong? Okay, I'm just gonna put a chocolate with it. Put some kernels. I think that's enough. Chocolatize me, Captain. Lid a lid a lid. All right, I don't trust this. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it. I'm sorry I don't have a bigger lid. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a pop. Oh, oh, y'all getting rowdy. Am I gonna get my chocolate popcorn? Well, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. I have a hunch that the other ones didn't pop because we were watching them. You simply don't watch popcorn pop. They have performance anxiety. Where art thou my glove? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's looking mighty. Oh, whoa. Excuse me, sir. You're done. Doesn't taste chocolatey. It doesn't taste like chocolate. Okay, now I'm thinking it would have been better with milk chocolate. Oh, you know what we can do? I've seen people put chocolate in popcorn like right after it's done. But you have to like put it in a bag and shake it up. This is the only paper bag I have. We're sacrificing it for the sake of this popcorn. Look, 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 look. Okay, so the chocolate melted a little bit. Oh, that's good. That's really good, especially with the salt. I can pull out the chocolate that has melted chocolate. All right, that's better. That's what I'm talking about. Five minute crafts, deep fried a slice of water Malone. That's illegal. We're not gonna do that. That's like sticking some soap in a deep fryer and be like, look! There is no way, shape, or form warm water Malone is gonna taste good. Chick-fil-A hat. So take any sauce, whatever sauce your heart desires. I like honey mustard. So take the chicken out of the sandwich. Hey, wait, that's illegal. Put it back in the bag. Shake it up with the sauce. If your chicken sandwich tasting like a cardboard sandwich or you have inferior taste buds, this is the hack for you. Just shake it on up, bam. Designer chicken. They did it with a Polynesian sauce, which looks bomb. Okay. I'm excited to do this because they have a gluten-free sandwich. And they put the chicken, lettuce, and tomato in a separate little container. Oh, and then the sauce! This is gonna be a honey roasted barbecue sandwich. But first, we're gonna take our sandwich to the next level. I'm gonna show you how. I like my chicken really well done. So when I come home, I either like put it on the stove for a little bit so it'll get a little extra crispy. This ain't even toasted. I mean, that's fine. Y'all really wanna see this flip now? Boom! Take my burger. It's been a burger, it's a chicken patty. Honey roasted barbecue all over it. See, when you're not gluten free, you get an actual bag. And then we're gonna take it out. Oh, it worked just fine. Boom, that's the wrong way. Oh, pretty good. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. It's called the black cow. So you take Coke, pop some vanilla ice cream in there, and you got like this ice cream flow. Not a big fan of Coke, but I feel like anything you put a McDonald's soft serve in is probably gonna taste good. Coke be drippy. Dang, there was no line and there's like 
five people behind me now. We came at a good time. Wait, where's my soft serve? I splurged and got a frappe. I haven't had one of these since I think high school. That's the best part. You see that? Just the tip. You want just the tip? I'm not doing any type of ice cream cone right now. Oh, none. It's just frappes right now. Okay, thank you. For some strange reason, I thought I had to go to McDonald's to get a Coke and ice cream. Maybe because I wanted a soft serve. So McDonald's is not, at least my McDonald's that I went to said they aren't serving ice cream anymore. Or at least temporarily. I think probably because they have to touch the cone. But anyways, I got my Coke, which is probably long flat. I'm gonna dump some of it. Then I have my boring vanilla ice cream at home. I'm gonna take a big chunk of this, put it in this. There you go, it's like a giant vanilla ice cream ice cube. Reactivating that fizz. Okay. <laughs> I just imagine this to taste like vanilla Coke. Vanilla Coke is a thing, right? We're gonna take our straw. This is a boba straw. Take my sippy sip. It just tastes like Coke with a hint of vanilla. Keep in mind, I don't really like Coke. Oh, there we go. We got a chunk of that vanilla ice cream. She chunky right now. I'm trying to break down the chunkiness. I'm trying to make this a skinny Coke. Okay, this is strangely pretty good. I like it. I think it would be even better if you just like dunked a vanilla soft serve in there. I'm kind of mad that I like this. But it just tastes like a cream soda or like an ice cream float. I don't think this is really that much of a hack. Depression meal check. <laughs> <laughs> Crusty, musty microwave. Yes. Do they just squeeze lemons in a bowl of water and then put them in? You could tell me I can microwave my microwave mess clean. Huh. Oh, and then they sponge it away with ease. But anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these would you actually try. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.